morning, afternoon and evening, wherever you are. Uh, back from our, uh, our well-deserved break. I, actually, I didn't realise how much Caroline I needed that break. That was a complete recharge to the batteries. So we're just back in, picking up on where we are left, which um, I was rather hoping some of this might have been done by someone, but uh, not a chance. So I'll probably just recap a few of the jobs we're going to do, Caroline are going to do. Not going to do this much side of the new year. Uh, New Year's Eve tomorrow, but uh, just to give us a few pointers, and then um, yes, we'll go from there. So as I was explaining, probably on an earlier video, I've got to make all these missing pieces, uh, and I've managed to find uh, a few floorboards, the same width actually, thankfully, uh, or near as damn it, from another floor that I had to take up. So I have a few reasonably nice pieces. So I'll just show you. We're missing quite a lot of these pieces here. Um, 45 degree angles, that makes my life a bit easy. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, tongue and groove them uh, in places. But uh, if I just show you as I'm starting off, I can now maybe get a couple of lengths out of there. I hope I've got enough timber, I really do. I've sanded them back and they're pretty close in colour wise, so it must have been. Uh, Okay, hopefully we can get away with it. So what I've got to do then is just make lots and lots of these and then uh, sand them back because they are actually, the thickness of these is more than what was used here. But again, I could just run them through the thicknesses. So that's not the end of the world. It's just making sure that this tongue and groove, the distance from the face to the tongue and groove is the same on, well, the other side, that's the groove obviously. So uh, we'll have a go, see how we get on. Not too much today. Yeah, it's New Year's Eve, so we're invited out to another chateau tonight. Uh, I won't mention any names, but uh, they have uh, a lot of animals there. Thankfully, uh, Tracy and Tony and Jonathan will be there, so should be good. Right, first day doing the flooring. Um, well, the first day doing this bit of the flooring, uh, as you can see, I'm not going or as fast as I was hoping I'd be able to do on this. Um, there's so many snags that I'm dealing with, which I might have said in an earlier video. If I have, I'm sure Beth will put a, a comment about me. <laughs> but um, what I was going to just show you, people keep saying, what's your thinking? These are the problems I've got. So I put a laser line on here. So the first thing I've got to make sure is that join there is absolutely straight and carries on all the way down right to those doors. Otherwise you'll walk in, you'll be like looking at snakes and ladders. So uh, that has been a little bit of a challenge. Now every single one of these parquet is at 45 degrees. So um, in fact, this, I've set this up, I'll just put this down for the moment but I'm having to use that just to make sure that as I come down, this angle isn't varying or starting to wander off because the last thing I need to do is, I come to the very end, I think, oh, I don't know there was 18 of them or something, then I stop where there's another line that goes down to the fireplace and then it's mirrored going back the other way. Uh, I haven't laid them yet, but that is the end, the center piece of the pattern so if I'm out on the angles, I'm just going to end up not having a line I'll try and, that comes down here and goes all the way down to the fireplace through those. So again, another challenge there. Now, on top of that, I need to make sure that all of these pretty much meet. So when they flow down, they flow out. And... Uh, well, that's been a bit of a headache. I've had a couple of, well, I'm knocking them up and they're moving around, so I'm putting some space in case where I know I need a slight gap. But it's working doing that. And then um, I was going to glue these down. I, I, I've spoken to a couple of people about this and, and they've all said, yeah, yeah flexi glue is the way to go. Um, and I've seen a couple of YouTube videos actually where they do that. But I didn't on this, uh, and I'm quite glad. First of all, I thought I'd just put these down to see how it's looking. And then I've had, I've had to take them up occasionally and I've adjusted um, and I'm so glad I didn't actually glue them down so I'm thinking, Christ, I wouldn't have got them up again. So I've actually started, you know, the old days they, they nailed them down into the joists, which we're not doing, but I've occasionally just popped in a, a, a screw. I mean, I'm 
zoom in and show you. There it is. So I've embedded that. It's, it's, it's only a, um, uh, an M3 screw that's just straight into the USB, holding it in place so I can knock up and it's not moving. Um, and then I just count something that away. Even if, if it's slightly, sorry, if it's slightly proud, the one that comes down here, I'll just literally just put a notch out the back of it and it'll sit over that, so that's fine. No problems at all with that, but it does mean it gives me, I've actually taken this row here, this one here, I've actually taken it up twice to play around to get it so it perfectly fits, or it'll never perfectly fit up the top. I'm getting there, um, it's come to the end, it does come exactly in line uh, with this one, so this is actually working really well and it's clean but it's taking some time. Now, the other problem I'm having is, as I'm putting the floor in together, uh, I wish I could show you one. I am finding, as with this one, that the tongue and groove, as an example, so I'll just try and span away, it will not go in properly. This is the next one on from there, so it's not like it shouldn't be there. And what's happening, it looks like, is over time. I mean, this floor, I've, I've probably been up for some time now, and I'm thinking that some of this is swollen uh, on the tongue, or even maybe uh, either side of the of the, uh, the groove. So they're not going clean together. So occasionally, I'm just going to have to uh, sand them back so they do lock together, which is what I'm doing. Again, it's working, but it's taking such a long time. Uh, but... Uh, Unfortunately, I'm just going to have to bear with it. I can't moan because Carol spent 10 years doing moulding, so I'm sure I can get away with spending a bit of time on this. But I reckon this is going to take me at least three weeks um, just to get this middle part of the flooring down. You can see there's gaps occasionally here and there. And I did actually do one that came out, and it was, it was tight here. It was tight at the very bottom, not this one I'm pointing at, but as an example. And in the middle, you'd have a groove, you know, you'd have a, a, a gap. And I started going through this thinking, oh, this is not working, but we've got a gorgeous tongue, uh, sorry, herringbone flooring upstairs in our uh, bedroom. Good condition, doesn't need to be taken up, so I'm really pleased. I looked at that, and because they're all handmade, I mean, they're not put on a CNC machine and made, they all are moving about, there's gaps that are never consistent. You know, back in the days, these were made by hand and uh, fair play, you know, <laughs> they do a good job. But, so also I've taken a couple of these, there's another row here, identical. But if you put one of those, so if you take a, a, a number five or number six and you put it down on top of a five or a six over here, they're not exactly the same. Because I thought some of these bits that are missing I can replace with some of the further down columns and then worry about it later. But I, it doesn't work like that because they are not identical the same. So I've had to make two along here that we're missing. I'm hoping they're not obvious. I can see it because the wood's just slightly darker. Uh, but so far, um, I seem to be, yeah, seem to be a good match or reasonably good match. Um, in fact, that's another one I did make. Uh, of another piece, but that one is definitely slightly darker, so I didn't use it. And maybe I, if I get really desperate, I can use that maybe in the middle of the floor where the carpet's going down, but we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update, maybe show you some more tomorrow. I would do a time lapse, but I'm worried that you'll probably fall asleep watching it because <laughs> it's taking so long, but we'll see. Well, as I mentioned, we're just going through a few little jobs before we start New Year, aren't we, darling? But, um, there's no stopping me. Yeah, why have you got a cork in your hand? Don't stop me now. <laughs> oh God, it's not even the new year and she's singing. <laughs> oh dear. In these panels, I've decided what I'm doing with them, but where the bracket, this bracket folds back into this gap here. Oh yes. Um, I'm just going to put some cork in there and smooth it off nicely because it's the old wattle and daub plaster that's just flaking away. So I thought if I just pour some of this in there and smooth off my finger, Okay. It will stop it coming out and it will look white. Well, white, it will be white, white. what you're using. So I, I explained to everyone about my New Year's challenge will be the floor. What's your New Year's challenge? <laughs> Going around with court by the sounds of it. Ooh, what a mess. Oh dear. <laughs> I think I need my washing up liquid in there. <laughs> I don't even know what your, new, your first job will be actually, you've got so many. 
Although you did tell everyone you were excited job with the curtains, I thought. Yeah, I've got the trim. Did I you? ordered a trim in England, um, a sample which is the perfect match for this gold here. I'll um, show you that later. Okay. Um, because the postal strikes in England are so delayed, I couldn't order the whole amount. Delayed? They're not even getting Christmas cards. They're not. <laughs> so, well, I've ordered that. It will take a couple of weeks because I'm getting it delivered to France. But I can sew the curtain because the trim actually goes on top of this edge. So you simply sew it on afterwards. So you see that all the way down, full length of the curtain. Yes. Ooh, okay. Uh, but I did forget, although I've done these four panels, repaired them, I forgot behind the shutters at the top. Don't ever open the shutters at the top. We don't, what's the point? <laughs> We can't get to them, so they are staying shut. We don't need to worry. Right, I'm gonna get my washing up liquid in there. Okay, brilliant. Go on then, explain what you're doing now. Simple jobs, you said. Let's do simple jobs today. Yes. So I thought, oh, I'll clean these candle holders. <laughs> okay. Well, I cleaned it and the fake wax um, disintegrated. <laughs> and I've discovered that these covers are just hardboard. So what I'm thinking is, we'll find a pole. Uh, I'll find a pole to stick like that. Yes. And I'll paint them a marble effect. You're going to paint them and marble them? Possibly. To look we'll like your... We'll do one, give it a go, see what it looks like. Nothing but ventured, yeah, nothing That's gained. just hardboard, so nothing yeah. special about those. No, but they could be when you finish with them. Well, they could be, but look, I changed the bulbs, so now they were soft to glow, the same as a chandelier. And I'm going to set them wide these up as well. For the first time, you haven't said you've put gold foil on them. Nah. <laughs> um, I saw in the comments, I don't know if you saw, Carol, that some people thought there should be something on the top yeah, of that. Yeah, I've just inspected the top of that, and there is some kind of screw thread in there. Is there? Um, so I might go around that other chandelier we bought the other day and see if I can find anything that resembles anything that goes in the top. So we think, you think there should have been something on the top. I always thought there should have been something in the yeah. middle, um, yeah. and there is a screw thread. So you'll improvise and find something. I will indeed. Looks good with the new bolts though, doesn't it? Matches in. Yeah, show them about the um, brown wax. <laughs> <laughs> Work in progress. So the special effect inside went in the dustbin. It went wrong. Oh, it went wrong. Okay. Uh, I tried to do on people's suggestions a gold marble effect. Ooh. And it didn't look right. Oh. Because there's no other gold marble in the room and that panel just didn't look right. So I'm going to stop. I was going to swear then. <laughs> Effing around. I'm going to stop messing around. I'm just going to paint it the colour of the panels and be done with it because it's just going on and on and on. It is. And actually, I've only just thought about it now, but what are the curtains? When you shut the well, um, the shutters are closed, the curtains will be there anyhow, won't they? Hanging, so you wouldn't really you see won't them. See much of nah, this that's what I thought. I thought about stenciling, I thought about grey marble, I thought about wallpaper, and you know what? What? I'm overthinking it. I'm just going to paint it. <laughs> Hence what you're doing. Exactly. I can't reach the top though. Oh, and okay. I've, I've gone and done my backing already. <laughs> Hang on, you've done your back in. I've got cracked ribs and I'm carrying on, so... Your cracked ribs are self-inflicted. They were, yes. Don't make me laugh, don't make me sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Right, okay, in that case, um, I could just explain the floor again. Getting there on the next row. Uh, a little bit of a, uh, again, a headache, just to make sure I we keep the mind. We have lasers, we have spirits, we have tapes. The spirit isn't strong enough. We need stronger spirits. Uh, something else that goes wrong. <laughs> oh, so something else. Said, oh, I'm going to try a marble effect on these candle holders. Which I thought you did one. I, I stole some of your... <gasps> you stole my vinyl. I stole some of your vinyl <gasps> and put it around there and thought, yeah, that looks nasty. 
So if I did those in marble, they wouldn't look good. So it's back to the drawing board on that. Hang on a second. I think they look all right if they were taller. I mean, obviously nah. the bulbs. Oh my God. Don't like that. Can't see it, but you don't like it. Okay. Back to the drawing board then. Yeah. Which is white ones. Um, no idea. I'm going to hunt. <laughs> that sounds like another day off at a Bacant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, the purple stripes are back again. Oh, I'm really annoyed with the purple tape. Oh. It's really? supposed to be low tack. Took the paint off. Oops. Yeah, you, haven't, you haven't had that problem before, though, have you? Mm, I have, actually. I should know better, shouldn't I? I should know to use your cheap, nasty parcel tape instead. <laughs> so first it's my vinyl rubbish, and now my parcel tape's rubbish. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> so what are you doing? I'm missing gold. Oh. I'm missing gold leaves so much, I had to add some more. Oh. No, the panels, okay. it was always in my mind to do some gold on the bottom of the panels. Right. To tie it in with the top. Because if you look over there where the lamp is, oh, I'm a scroll in the corner, in. there is a trim over there at the bottom. Yes. But that's different to the panels, so I'm just doing this beading around here. It's that bit around there. there, do you want to say that a third time? to tie it in. If you look over there... God, you've got me scrolling around a lot, haven't you? You can see what I did earlier. Here's what I did earlier. But it needs some touching up. No, it hasn't gone as easy as I thought. It started off really well. Right. But it ties in the top panels, don't you think? I do. Well, I don't think I'm used so, to that. So, oh. more gold leaf. It's a good job I've got five books left because I've still got this pelma up here. Ah, yes, you do. Um, yeah, back on the ladder again then. Well, yeah, that's why I delayed it because I couldn't get the ladder in here. <laughs> I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> Was Henry in the way? Just move him. <laughs> Go back to work. So you're you're going to gold that edge there. I am. And then I can then carry on and do the flooring on there. Or yeah. I'll get this marble done as well. Right. And then you can carry on.